we go by the name of King's Castle. Um, grew up in Walthamstow, East London. Um, I'm a. Can we start that again? Yeah. Right. Okay. Tell so me who no, you are. Right, what so, Lee, so right. So right. We are, and I say King's Castle, <laughs> and then you say so. So I'm. Um, so we go by the name of King's Castle. I'm a rapper. I'm a producer. The slash from, rapper. <laughs> we're from Walthamstow, East London. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. What was the question again? <laughs> this, so we go by the name of King's Castle. I'm a rapper. I'm a producer. We're from Walthamstow, East London. Born and bred. Yeah, born and bred Walthamstow. Um, background, background wise. Well, yeah, I study music. <laughs> Isn't it? Well, you should always say background. Come, 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 let me do What's this. my background? My background hey, is... Hey, let me start, let me start, <laughs> let me start. You follow me. <laughs> Where we from? <laughs> <laughs> background wise. Yeah, because... Oh. To be taken in one take, you do understand, oh. isn't it? Like, so it's cut. So that's oh, what I'm saying. Yeah, background wise, yeah, that's not going to be in it. Is it? <laughs> that's why you go D. Say something about our fucking <laughs> struggling, bro. We go by the name of King's Castle. We're from Walthamstow, East London. I'm a rapper. I'm a producer slash rapper. Um, I'd say, well, a back, bit more background into King's Castle. Um, I say I started writing from when what? we were young, man. From like what, 13 years old? 13 Probably years. Like not taking it seriously, just a school playground, that sort of stuff. Yeah, when back when Graham was big, from 13 to 16, I'd say, um, yeah, that's when I first started rapping. From 13 to 16, then I fell, then I, well, I didn't fall off. I went to university. Um, to study sociology, um, and then yeah, just came back to this at about twenty. Yeah, I'd say yeah, but I'd say that your passion really flourished when um, you were studying like yeah sociology, and I was at I was at university studying music production and business, and you were like, what you're producing? Yeah, you may as well start producing some hip hop and that. And at first, we weren't really taking it seriously, but then this guy just come with the maddest lyricism and that, and then boom, it was just King's Castle perfect, were formed, and the next minute fit. we're performing and. Now we're here, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, been, it's been, it's been, it's been a mad journey. I'd say we're three years into King's Castle, and it's been a mad journey so far. Obviously, everything with COVID, like no performing and that, um, but still, man, we're enjoying it, taking it day by day, and yeah, man, like, it's given us like, a future and something to look, look forward to. It. We yeah. like, look forward to like some structure. Yeah, man. I, mean? I wanna thank my friends and all the people that arrived. I'm glad you could attend. It means the most to share a stage with people that reflect My passion for this music and my love of dialect It's like these words are my escape from all the pain and all the stress Yeah, all the bills and all the debt yep. I feel like once you start writing you really realise uh, That the, the process of writing and writing about yourself And writing about the experiences around you is, it, it involves a lot of self-reflection and looking into yourself And Looking, yeah, it's looking almost at that like therapy, isn't it? It is and almost you, therapy. Your, it's pen, almost, your pen's the therapist. Like, like it really gives you the time to work out your problems. Like put your thoughts on a page rather than just being crazy in your head and going round and round and round. You've put them in. You've put well. This is for me anyway. You've put them onto a page, into a sixteen bar format. Um, but besides, aside of that, I think just writing about myself and realizing my wrongs and rights, especially when I was younger, I feel like. It was a really important process when I was younger, man. For both of us when we were younger, like so much madness going on around us and growing up where we grew up in Walthamstow and just being young working class boys, isn't it? You yeah, know what man. I mean, in the end, so. <clears throat> to get to a stage where other people want to listen to it as well, it's, it's just mad. It's mad, and it's listening to other rappers as well. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, music, literally, like music changed our lives. We were going, I had one thinking pattern and my ideologies and ideas around the world, I know, about the world. And then at 16, listen to a rapper called Ocarlo and him alone changed my whole thinking pattern. So I know the power of music and I wanna do the rest, do the same for other people. Yeah, 100% I want people, yeah, to experience the same. I get the same opportunities, if not more opportunities that I've been given. And, yeah. Um, yeah, progress, man. Third eye visions, man, I'm trying to get my mind right Third eye visions, man, I'm trying to get my eyesight But their right side thoughts got me living in a lie Like Satan's in my damn mind, Satan's in my damn mind 
but these frooms help me see light. I said my shrooms help me see light. Got me thinking about my life, like the way I'm living life, like. And it just ain't right, like. Lab rat trapped in the belly of the beast. His meat, his feast, I keep it stepping on the streets. Yeah, I grew up in the east when times they were peak. Forced to be G's. Big boy blades, big bags of cheese. Coke, check, the man, the and the ease. Chilling on the block every the day. The first piece of advice I would give is to make sure you're really passionate about it, passionate about it, like it's something you really, really want to do because it's hard, man. It is a difficult industry. Um, you've really got to want it. To uh, your love, to... your love for yeah. the art. Always. But that's not to say you could enter into it wanting to be a rapper, but then along the way, along the journey, you're like, wait, hold up, I can film. I like this, I like that. You can always, yeah. yeah. But yeah, and then- so, like your love for the art really has to come first. Yeah, right? find, a, find a college course, a uni course. There's big creative education is out there offering in courses for say if you didn't do that well in school you don't have your GCSEs qualifications there's always that open um, mind nights as well 100% yeah 100%. open mind nights I think open mind nights are the best way to get out there man and just do it like I know that sounds simple but you just actually just gotta do it just go to the open mind night once you head down to the open mic night you'll feel calm because you'll see other people make mistakes but everyone will clap them on and they'll and they'll make it in the end and it just gives you the, the strength to continue so I'd say, yeah, if, if you're writing, I'd say it's definitely important to get to open mic nights and perform 100%. There's substance in our music, no withholding when we speak. We're slowly getting views and so we're growing by the week. I know that I can do this, I know I can really be. A man that's level-headed with the strength to feel at peace. Cause lately I feel stronger, now we're starting to make sense. The real battles beneath, there is a war inside my head. My thoughts go back and forth, the merry go, it never ends. I'm caught between the law and doing what we need to mend. This fuckery situation where we find ourselves Man would rather find a dough than find a way to find himself Blinded by the money for designer Not to find his welfare Education's fucked to keep us stuck and undecided tell All of those in charge that We don't need their answers Doing this regardless Stressing but I can't quit Feel this where my heart is Feel this where my heart is Feel this where my heart is Yeah, cut it there bro, cut it there That was mad! Hey. That was mad! We'll run through the chorus and then we'll go through the second verse, innit? Yeah, no, 100, bro. That was sick, G.